Welcome to City Skylines and the City of Waterside. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, you'll wonder where this city came from. This is actually the result of a Let's Play I did about three or four months ago, where I built a city of a population of 250,000 from scratch, where I basically unlocked and placed all the unique buildings across the map and so this is the city we've got a dam up here and all the various unique buildings are put in here now why am I actually showing this to you I'm not going to continue this let's play so don't shudder guys and worry what I'm actually doing is is I'm not sure if you're aware but Colossal Order actually announced that they are releasing a, a new DLC in winter this year 2016 if you're watching this in the future and it's actually going to be called disasters so they're basically going to introduce disasters into the city i mean there's not much in the way of detail about the dlc but there, there are two elements to it in the sense that they're going to introduce disasters there's also going to be new features to do with disaster management so I thought, well, if I'm going to showcase that DLC when it comes out, because I will be buying it, I need some cities to actually do it. So I thought, well, why not fire up jolly old Waterside? And that's what I did. And I, I kind of came in to have a look. I had no intention of recording. And I was kind of just flipping through here. And I actually found this here. And football stadium. I thought, oh, where did that come from? I don't remember putting that there. And it's actually a free DLC that was released in... I think it was the 2nd of August this year and I actually missed it and what we're going to do is we'll drop it in here so I can show it to you guys now it's actually called a football stadium for any of you who live in America it's what you would actually call a soccer stadium so it's actually a European definition of football it needs power so I better I'll just connect it up and so so it's, it's actually a new kind of extra unique building came in it's a free dlc and first i thought well it's just a norm another building why yeah why did they do a free dlc but it's quite interesting actually because if you click on it now you've got this kind of extra big panel if, I, if any of you are not familiar with the game if i click on the previous buildings which just had this this is up geek cost visitors there but what they've actually done is is they've got this panel here now and you can actually rename it so this call this I mean I know this is not London but call it Wem Wembley Stadium that's the correct spelling and it says here customize your team colors so we can zoom that's here so we can kind of have a yellow maybe no it's for a purpley color and here you've got these sliders, so we're going to be playing Waterside FC against Vermont FC. I don't know, I don't think we can rename the teams. And we can set the ticket price, so let's be beneficial, we've got plenty of cash, so let's kind of set the ticket price quite thing. And we've got sliders here, and so come here, it says here, come all, one, come all, to make it easier for fans to get to the stadium. Public transport is free on match days, increased amounts of visitors, raise the odds of winning the matches. And then we've got match security, high security staff on patrol around the stadium, keeping crime low. It's 500 a week per stadium, so we'll put that on. Then it's got here, subsidised youth. By spending money on training young players, the team is increased odds of win. But applies to all stadiums' costs. That's interesting, because it says all stadiums, but if I actually come out here, it doesn't let me build a second stadium. So I'm not sure whether, again, that's something they're looking for into the future. We've now got this stadium. It looks pretty nice, actually. Uh, I'm in here. It's got a kind of zoom round and have a look. I try and keep off so you've got there. Oh, you get also get chirpers. Gets a football hat on there, which I put on to show fun of it. So, and if any of you guys actually watched my previous series, I thank you very much for actually watching it because it was completely good. You also notice that the graphics is a bit better now. It's, yeah, I'm now running this on a machine with a slightly upgraded, it's not state of the art, but the graphics card's a lot better than the last time. You can actually see here now that the 
compared to when I did the original recording, the the actual graphics is a lot sharper, a lot more detailed. So I think that's all I'm going to show you for the moment because if I click here, you'll see the next match is on the 20th, the 10th, 2017. So what I'm going to do is bump the game speed up and you can see here we've got two game years to go. So what I'm going to do now is kind of just leave you... Well, I'll see you in a minute, guys, once so we get to the match day. So see you in a minute. Okay, okay, guys, welcome back. And I actually think I've spotted something else which I hadn't seen before. I'm sure that wasn't in here before. That's a basketball court. I'm sh pretty sure that was not there before. But what I've been doing is building up this area, making it, putting a bit more commercial in here. You can see the sports fans are now starting to arrive and the cars. Parking's a bit dodgy if you watch this car. Come over here, you drive straight across the grass verge to get into his parking space. Yeah, I'm sure that basketball court wasn't there before. I've, I've got a feeling they've added some more. Oh, what have we got here? Botanical gardens. I think that's new as well. Look at this. Yeah. That's quite new. Oh, well, so if we can. Yep, I think they've added a few extra bits and pieces as well. Can have a quick look. Got here, piece of olive, body, skate park. I think we've seen the skate park. Anyway, I need to keep an eye out for. So yeah, so it looks like they've also sneaked in. Oh carousel and a bouncy castle that's new as well of course it's a sports day so let's get a bouncy castle in as well yeah so it looks like they've also sneaked in a couple of extra bits and pieces here anyway fans are now gathering Got a few more days to go yeah so don't know if there's anything else three wise Get hard to tell. This is a terrain pack that went in. That's canals. Never really featured that on Let's Play. Yeah. So, well, people who don't watch the soccer can come here and watch the basketball. Play a bit of one on one. So. Uh, it looks like they have been sneaking in extra bits and pieces. It's nice. I think that's the way that I like it, actually. Band standing. A carousel in here. Maybe a little bouncy castle. Just to keep the happiness going. Everyone happy. You can see now we're now coming up. Another 11 days to go and then we'll be ready to go. See it's building up and so you can see the fans arriving. The city's working quite well actually. I was quite, I'm quite surprised actually how well the city's actually holding up. I expected it, you can see it's still increasing actually. Uh, so I think it's going to be in good form to be destroyed. Whatever disasters that come. I know the new DLC actually has meteor as an asteroid strike or meteorite strike on it. So it'll be interesting to see what other disasters they put into the DLC when it's delivered. And as I say, the plans I'm kind of thinking of is to get this city. I might build a, another one. I don't think I've got one, say, of about 40 or 50,000 and maybe a small town or village. Um, one of them will probably be a, a winter winter one because I haven't really done a, a good winter city. I did start, but to be honest, the default map winter maps aren't much cops. So I think I'll have a look at the custom maps and see if I can find a nice winter custom map to play. Party all night long. And love city leisure specialization. Yes, well, I don't think they've changed the... Uh, no no new districts. So here we come, We've got the match, it's just starting, the players are coming out on the field, see the well, animations for all the fans, good crowd attached, 
Well, probably because of my cheap tickets. Bell coming from the apartment next door. Someone looks like someone's dead. Oh well. Doesn't surprise me. Now this is just kind of zooming and, and I mean I haven't got any mod cameras on because what I've had to do is reinstall this game because I actually took it off because I had a bit of a space problem. No, I haven't got any mods running now. So you can see them kicking the ball around. Uh, oh, that's been a bit more of an animation than that. Just kicking around in a circle. Come on, somebody score a goal, please. That's what I'm here for. Get a nice shadow there coming across as well. That's, that's neat, I like that. The fact that you've actually got the shadow moving across the pitch. Oh, let somebody get on goal, score on goal there. Oh, looks like somebody might have scored and I'd missed it. I have to watch the video back to see if it actually happened. No. No, I mean, I don't know what, how well the team will do. I mean, the, no, there is a consequence of winning. And you know. oh, oh, yeah, scored goal. It'd be nice if there was an animation here that said goal or something like that, or if there was a scoreboard. I mean, I've got no idea how long this will go on for, so. I just watch that kind of the animation coming over here. I think that's really cool. The fact that they've got that animation coming across over the pitch, and I assume that as it gets dark, we'll we see the stadium lights come on. But we'll just watch it long enough for it to get dark. Shame. Maybe if I get the mod camera on when I do the, the stuff for the DLC, I'll be able to see if we can get really in. See if there's get a real close up of the action. Nearly there. Yeah, so I say this is just a very one off video, so don't worry guys, I'm not gonna bore you with let's play. What I might do actually is if I start building another city rather than give you a blow by blow fit uh kind of give you a blow by blow of, of the city being built, what I might do is kind of give you some highlights, especially if I do a winter city, because as I say I've never really covered a winter city properly. Oh there we are, there's the stadium lights come on. It's now lit up. That's cool, we've got some nice lighting effects around the top of the stadium. Yeah I like that. And I think what we're gonna do now is I'll just let it run on and actually kind of as it's dark because I think the city looks really spectacular in the dark so I think what I'll do is I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour of the city while the match is going on here you've got the London Eye which is one of the buildings that uh, come with the I think it's the deluxe version of City Skylines also we've got the good old Statue of Liberty here stood, stood proud looking out over the ships going by and other nice, really cool buildings here. I don't know what this is. Uh, the medical centre. Something like futuristic. Again, we've got another stadium here. This is obviously the default stadium. Oh no, it's the Opera House. Where did I put my stadium there? That's maybe out here somewhere. Um, you have to excuse me, a bit of a traffic jam here. Coming across here. I mean, traffic wise the city's held up quite nicely actually that's the aquarium base elevator so you can see the city's actually a bit out of focus I might have to re work on the graphics a bit I mean this is the one that with the winter they bought in trams which I quite enjoyed doing actually hope the next one doesn't end like this it's like the last one don't tell me we lost. Did we lose? Oh, we got whatever, whatever it is. We got a success one. One lost. Next match against Portburg. Vermont FC. Did we lose? Oh, we won 560,000. I don't know what that, that actually stands for. I don't know if that's ticket. That must be ticket sales. So we we made quite a lot of money out of this actually. 
that's not bad actually. 14, 570 odd thousand here for the ticket sales. And of course the next match will be on the 13th the 9th in the future there. Expenses. I mean, we'll keep training the team. I mean, it'd be nice if one Vermont the I presume we won one, lost one. Not sure what who Vermont FC you are. Was that just the team we were playing? So if we play the next one, it'd be Portburg FC. Anyway, I think that's this is enough for you guys. I think I'll probably bored you enough. But I just wanted to show you that stadium. As I say, I will be might do the occasional or regular series showing you the updates of of. The cities that I'm building for the DLC and of course when the DLC comes out I will kind of oops, do a, a kind of full overview show you what what the features are new features that have come out how they work and we can play around and of course we can blow up the city so on that note guys I think that's all there is to it and hope you enjoyed this very very short video until next time whatever you do Enjoy your gaming.